Being a Kavli scholar means being able to pursue my dream, which is to do research in, in space science. I'm from Ukraine. I was born in, and raised in Kiev. I really liked space from the very childhood. I think I saw like every single program they had in the Kiev Planetarium. <laughs> but I only thought about it as a career when I was uh, in my uh, postgraduate studies. In 2021, I moved to Belgium to do a degree in space studies from uh, KU Leuven and the uh, Hent University. When the war started, uh, I just woke up. It was about two and a half hours after the invasion began. And uh, I opened my phone and I see every single group chat uh, having like hundreds of messages. The first reaction is really um, disbelief because you cannot really fathom that something like this could be happening in our time. It really made me unsure about what I will do. So uh, I used to have a plan for life, uh, but then it suddenly it was completely yeah, undermined by, by all of this. Obviously, it kind of splits your life into uh, before and after because you're so worried about your parents, about your friends, about everyone you know. K-11 really handled uh, war in Ukraine in like, the best uh, fashion possible. They reached out to uh, everyone from Ukraine in the very first day of, uh, of the invasion and asked uh, uh, what we need. And also, the uh, management of the space studies program was uh, very very sympathetic towards me and uh, they also reached out and asked how I'm doing if I need anything and uh, the entire faculty was always asking me how uh, how is it going uh, if I need something and uh, you could really feel that it was very genuine and uh, having a support system really made a world of a difference to me and I'm very very grateful I will not forget it. I was considering uh, when I was doing master's in space studies to go home but then I thought that if I, if I do this I wouldn't be able to pursue my career goals that were in, in the space sector because uh, well, for obvious reasons. Um, so I thought it, it, it is probably best for me right now to stay here and focus on my on my studies. My research will focus on um, unsupervised machine learning for probing the internal physics of stars. They offer a very unique advantage where you don't really um, introduce uh, human bias in, into it because you don't label the classes and it allows you to um, discover new kinds of, uh, of uh, variable stars, which is uh, very interesting uh, and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, working on that. Obviously, Professor Arts, she is a world-renowned figure in astroseismology and I think this will be an amazing experience for me because I get to learn from literally the best. <laughs> it might be a challenge, but I have the saying that if it's easy, it's boring. My, my mother really hates this. She says that some things in life have to be easy, but uh, I think it's going to be um, uh, it's going to be challenging because it's a, it's a new field for me, but uh, I'm really up to the challenge. I'm really looking forward to, to doing this. Why is this my dream? Uh, is because I, I think space uh, and space science in particular holds a very special place amongst all the scientific fields. So it's true for all science that, sciences that if you contribute something, you um, kind of um, contribute to the scientific picture of the world, which leads to better education, which is then like a self-feeding process. So it, it kind of leads to more science, more technology, better society. But space is special in a way that it's also very inspiring. It's, it fascinates people. Recently, there was a book uh, on astronomy for children released in Ukraine. And uh, I bought a book on sale on the very first day for my uh, godson. And uh, his mother says that he is absolutely ecstatic about it. And I'm really looking forward to him being as excited about space as I am when he grows up.